with their know. All the leaders of the world. All the philosophers. All the high priests. They have convinced themselves. That man, the worst transgressor of all the species. Is the crown of creation. And let all other animals be merely to provide them from food. Entertainment closing. In relation to them, all men, all humanity, be Nazis. For the animals, it is an internal Treblinka. We have treated our cousins in fur and feather so horribly that without a doubt, if there ever form a night in religion, they will pick the devil in human form. We murdering any year something like 150 billion innocent animals only for a piece of meat a piece of corpse and dead body something apathetic and unnecessary as that the question is not can I think but the question is can there suffer all animals being eager aware as well just like they can feel pain you need a working nervous system in order to feel pain and this not open for debate because if you've been in a hospital and you be nearly to death they called you not animals they called you plants because animals suffer and life in the same way as we they're all can suffer, give you pain, be nowhere. If they're not, no, they don't can survive in the in the world. Humanity prays for mercy, but is not willing to extend it to others. Why then, humanity? So expect mercy from somebody else. It is unfair to ask for something that you don't be willing to give. It is inconsistent. I never will accept inconsistency or injustice. Even if it comes from the so-called law. As Martin Luther King once said, we don't can in our conscious obey you unjust laws and live by your unjust system because no cooperation with evil is as much or more as his cooperation with good the system have to change no matter or they've been forced to need it to break the barriers of immorality break the barriers of corporate interest so also like Martin Luther King want to say a threat to justice anywhere is a threat to justice anywhere The life suffering 
of one B. Can we equal drugs on the like on the suffering of all living beings? That means any living being is equal. There is not such thing as difference. Compassion begins on the dinner table by what you eat on a daily basis. You don't can pray for peace and do nothing. Good people don't pay for the murder, torture, rape and execution of other living beings. Auschwitz begins when somebody looks to a slaughterhouse and think they're in only animals. Good people come in action and expose the injustice and expose it and you force to stop it, stop the injustice by its root. Speciesism is the first form of hatred that people have been taught. Speciesism is the essence of all discrimination. This is the belief that humans be more important than others, and than other living beings. This kind of mindset is inexcusable, just like any other form of discrimination. This is the root of all the haters. If a children grow up and learn, no matter that the cow is different than them, but the, 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 and the child learn that no matter if the cow is just different than them, or the pig is different than them, or the chicken is different than them, they have the same right to live as they have. How can that child grow up and go if they go to school and say you being a white man or you being a black man so you being a racist or a white superiorist or you being lesser than me or you being a woman so I have the right to take you This don't happen when you destroy and don't activate the root of all discrimination. A human being sees himself as something separate from the rest, when optional delusion of his consciousness. This illusion is a kind of prison for us to restrict ourselves by giving compassion to only some close to us. Our task must be to free ourselves from this prison by spreading our compassion to any living being. And nature in its beauty. Go vegan. Veganism is the most ethical way to live. It can save a lot of lives. It can save our planet because the meat industry is the most biggest cause of global warming. The pollution of the sea. And without a sea, we have no our world.
I'll show. The meat industry is responsible for ocean dead zones because they put billions, uh, uh, trillions of oil in the seas because they have too much shit from the animals. And therefore, we destroy the whole sea, make it so acidic. Actually, the sea is so acidic that it will not sink. The prehistory. If the acidity of the sea go higher and higher over a couple of years, um, we have a uh, something like uh, 3.5 uh, 3 to you. 